After 15 years, the bite is back in the dogs. Emerald City is all fired up over the storybook start. Come on inside Husky Stadium, another sellout crowd of better than 70,000 expected today as Washington looks to close out the non-conference schedule with a sweep as the Huskies host Portland State out of the big sky. Marcus Kinsella, the Aussie, to put it in play. And he goes to the short guy, fair catch made at the 25-yard line. Jake Browning, the sophomore from Folsom, California, making his 15th start in 16 games since he got here. They go to Gaskin on the first carry. Browning takes a short drop, throws right across the middle. McClatchy. Chico McClatcher had a touchdown catch in each game so far. Gets his first touch. And they give it to him on the ground this time. Finds a seam off the right side, first down. Washington's opening drive of the game. Number eight team in the country. Two easy wins to start the season. Delayed handoff, go back to McClatcher, check it, it's Gaskin. Deep out of the backfield, short game. Seems to have a great command, discipline, and mature. McClatcher got a chance to score. Chico McClatcher on the first drive. Take a look here. It's simple man-to-man -man coverage, right? And you're gonna get the slant, you're gonna get an arrow. It's gonna cross up the defenders. Great job by John Ross just setting this thing up. It's a rub, it's not a pick. And all of a sudden, wide open, Chico McClatcher to the house. Up man, loose ball, recovered by the Huskies at the 26-yard line. Simple miscommunication on kickoff return. You just can't do that. You're taught when you're in kickoff return to never retreat if you're in that middle area. You gotta stand your ground, the ball's to you, you need to fair catch it. Poor job by Portland State, that's uncharacteristic. They're usually a well-coached team under Bruce Barnum, but great awareness by LeVon Coleman, the backup running back. Empty backfield for Browning. Fakes right, comes back left, wanted to go to John Ross, but the pressure was there quickly. Browning demanding that snap. Fakes to the up man, tries to go to McClatcher and well defensed. That's Artes Manning again. He's the guy who brought pressure on the last play in the face of Browning. This time on that slant, got his left hand across. In Portland State, decided to play a little nickel defense versus all the athletes of Washington. Manning, he's their third corner usually. Browning again, better coverage, here comes Manning again. And he's gonna air one out, Ross, and that's a flat, held up. Ross tried to come back for it, had no chance. Pass interference, defense number 28, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Stays in to help out, Browning coming back to the left side. Two drives, two touchdown passes. Darrell Daniels, the tight end. Buda Baker, he makes his offensive debut right there, and all of a sudden we're gonna get a delay by the tight end coming across the field. Nice job by Buda Baker. The defense is gonna flow to him, fast flow to find number 32, the best athlete on the field. They come backside to Mr. Daniels. Impressive call by Chris Peterson and offensive coordinator Jonathan Smith. Kick off the second time in five minutes. Last time he went to a short, short man, there was a fumble. This time they go a little bit deeper. Talented senior quarterback for Portland State. They talk about him being slippery. He's gonna keep it himself. He could rush for 100 yards today, but the first time he takes a snap, he hands it off. Deep handoff. Tongo again. Out near the 30-yard line. And keep it himself, Caressa, first down. And 
and just picked up their first first down. Second one from just across the 45. Now they got a little something going on. Two in a row. Stood up right away. Paris Penn. Second and ten. Caressa coming back to the left side and deflected as he tried to go late across the middle. Hands up Mathis. Now it's third down. Caressa pressure coming. Straight on Sagai. Now gonna run. Got the first down on a great cutback move. Chris Peterson talked about him on our call this week. He said he's elusive, he's strong, and he's not going down easily. Well, Portland State offensive coordinator Steve Cooper knows what he has in number seven in Caressa. The quarterback was a wide receiver. Here's Penn. A Tongo, right at the middle between the guards, short gain. Penn is back with Caressa. Pressure coming. Caressa's going down. Keep an eye on the coverage all over the field. I mean, this secondary of UW just straight locks everybody down. There's nowhere to go. Nice little pocket, should have stepped up in the pocket. Regardless, gets rushed, gets sacked. All of a sudden, now in fourth down. But this secondary, they do get a lot of credit, and they deserve it. Dante Pettis is back to receive this punt, but a whistle before the snap. Delay a game. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Still fourth down. And we'll see how Pettis handles it. Going to kick it away from him to the corner. Washington takes over on the 20-yard line. McClatcher has already taken a handoff today. Gets to the sideline. And he needed one step to go. Boy, the speed of this team, and we haven't even seen Dante Bettis. You know, all these guys, John Ross, McClatcher, Pettis, all these guys are just smoky fast. Well, you got to love how they're calling this game. I mean, that's a wildcat formation. Gaskins in the backfield, and all of a sudden, you're gonna put McClatcher in motion. I mean, him, those, he, those two and John Ross, it's hard to defend or do anything unique on defense. Deep handoff and a short gain. And he does here again, steps around pressure. Now gets it back up to his shoulder and throws late over the middle and overthrows. Drew Sample, his first catch, that's a first down across midfield, took a hit and held on. This is awesome. Watch Jake Browning, watch his eyes, watch him process everything. Okay, you want to chunk information at the quarterback position. One, two, three, comes back to four. Are you kidding me? I mean, that's a simple completion across the middle on a basic cross, but that is gradual level work from this quarterback in terms of how clearly he's seeing a defense and getting through his progression. LeVon Coleman is the deep guy. Gets the handoff quickly through and inside the 40-yard line. Gaskin in the backfield with Browning. You got Ross and McClatcher at the top. It is Gaskin. Gaskin first down. But I think it's important to, to recognize the youth. I mean, last year, it's 74 freshmen and sophomores and 14 seniors. This year, they got 69 freshmen and sophomores and only 13 seniors. So you look at those numbers and you say, wow, this this team's already top 10 team in the country. I mean, they're just kind of getting going, and they might be a year early, at least from uh, expectations of, of people around the country. This team, they're legit. Yeah, because all those freshmen and sophomores got time last year. They come in as experienced players, but they're still not top heavy. You saw the senior class, still pretty small, same as last year. But you know what I love about that is that the young players take on a great leadership role. Jake Browning, remember, he was a mid-year guy last year. His work ethic set the tempo. It's why he won the job. Obviously, he's gifted as well. You look at all those players, whether it's Azeem Victor, Keyshawn Vieira, they learn from all those players you talk, that, that you talk about who left for the draft. You know, you look at even the guys on the offensive line. Coleman Shelton moving all over the place. 
Jake Elmenkamp, he's played all over. He's the senior. Trey Adams played a lot of football. And look at right here, the sophomore, making sure everybody's in the right position. And if you watch the drive, you'll see this, that they all talk about Browning. He knows this offense, and he'll get up in your ear hole and tell you you're in the wrong spot. Gaskin bounces off one guy, wrapped up by the second at the 30-yard line. You know, look, last year for Browning, it had to be tough. You're a freshman. It's your first year on campus. To talk to upperclassmen and tell them they're doing something wrong, maybe there was some hesitation. Not this year. No, not at all. And you just got to win with your work ethic. And that's kind of how that trio has been. We had a chance to talk to Trey Adams, left tackle, about what it's like to be with Miles Gaskin and Jake Brown and kind of those that trio of true freshmen. So, you know, it's kind of cool. We have this unique bond, and we know that we've got to make sure daily we set the tempo, and we get in the weight room, in the classroom, in the film room, and on the field. Gaskin's off to a good start. That's the way he finished last year, going over 100 in his last four. That's Aaron Fuller. Catch gets around the first guy and spilled out of bounds. And again, Washington on a pretty good drive. Been a tough year for the Portland State defense. Last week, their offense coughed it up six times as they got run at San Jose State. But this defense has not forced a turnover yet this year. Gaskin steps inside the 15 and ends the first quarter at the 13-yard line. Nice opening frame for the number eight team in the country. Jake Browning now. Ten touchdown throws and just a single interception in two plus games. <laughs> They're knocking on the door again at the 13 yard line, going for the fade to the corner, in and out of the hands. Has Dotson next to him. Going to the opposite side. McClatcher, his second touchdown of the game. Well, we talked about it from the beginning. A little hitch up later. Spin move. <laughs> Thought it was basketball. Oh, look at that. Pretty impressive. Chico McClatcher, great athleticism, great focus. I love the hand placement when he catches it, shoots his hand above his eyes. Touchdown. He shows everybody the rock. As Kano's kicked it in three different spots. This time he puts it in the end zone. Nate Tago going to take a knee. Early in the second quarter, knocked away, incomplete. Travis Bartley got his hands up. Yeah, I was wondering if that pass was backwards. You'll see at the top Pretty of your close. screen. There's Tevis Bartlett. That's a backwards pass, isn't it? No doubt. And they're talking about it. Keep in mind, after last year, they show replays. The ruling on the field is a backward pass recovered by the it defense. It is? Yeah. First down. Well, it didn't look like they called it that way the first time, but they get it right. It's the correct call. Look at the quarterback's feet. Look where the ball goes. Yeah. Nice job by Tevis Bartlett, young guy, sophomore. He's a quarterback in high school. Knows a little bit about where the quarterback's going to throw the rock. Makes a play. Everybody getting involved. The sideline erupts. And Chris Coit and the officiated crew get it right. Bartlett played in all 13 last year. Played a pretty good game against Idaho at four tackles. Peterson was right on it. He was calling it a fumble immediately. And here they come again. First and goal at the four yard line and already up 21 to nothing. Full house backfield. Browning keeps it. Pressure coming. Extends the play and throws it away. Gaskin. No problem. Bounced off one guy and walked into the end zone. Washington is on the board for the fourth time. Well, again, another unique formation. You see Daniels from the fullback position, the tight end. They move him all over the field. He's got the kick out block. And, and there's that rushing touchdown and the run game that all UW fans are looking for.
goes underneath to Paris Penn. This time he hands off. Marcus can sell it a punt for Portland State. Dante Pettis watches it roll out of bounds. They're off to a good start today. 28-0 over Portland State. And here goes Miles Gaskin. Browning going to extend this play. Gets his feet set again and throws in and out of the hands of his receiver. Fuller, quick catch, but he's dropped immediately at the 47-yard line. Washington to punt. Goes into the end zone. 28 nothing Washington. Jim Watson, Yogi Roth, Cindy Brunson at Husky Stadium. Paris Penn out near a first down for Portland State. He's trying to pick up the pace here, trying to get him on the board in the first half. To Penn again. Step down to the first tackle, but two more right behind it. Caressa got away from the first guy and maybe going to lose a yard as he got back near the line of scrimmage. Caressa, good protection. Lobs one into coverage. Flag comes out, and it's intercepted. Kevin King with the theft, but there's going to be some interference here. Pass interference, defense number 20, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. There's a skill in creating pass interference and getting an interception on the same play, isn't there? Yeah, no doubt. You're I mean, pretty it, busy. It's incredibly athletic, but you can't extend <laughs> the arm. Second and eight. Nate Tongo is the deep guy behind Caressa. Caressa soft roll to his right, right on the hash mark, pressure coming. JoJo Math, this, this defensive end here at the bottom. He's just gonna keep coming, fighting, fighting, and all of a sudden, he's gonna get the sack. And this is a young man who's been persevering his entire life. You saw the drive last night premiere on the Pac-12 Network. Talk about his fit, his fight, his grit, his ability to persevere. He's a young man who almost left the program when Chris Peterson came in with his new philosophy, different than Steve Sarkeesian. He wasn't ready for it. He's matured, he's grown up, and he just made a big play on second down. He's got a new baby. That'll make you grow up pretty quick. Third and 15, Caressa feeling the heat again. Qualls squeezes him out to the opposite side. He continues to retreat and finally just chucks it into his own bench. No chance. Dante Pettis hasn't returned a punt yet. They're gonna kick away from him. And Bruce Barnum coming in said, I'm not gonna give it to any of these quick guys. Not giving it to Pettis, not giving it to Ross. Side short gain out to the 32. You can see Browning getting better on each series. Confidence growing. And he could have two more full seasons in front of him. Terrell Daniels scored a touchdown earlier. Another big catch. Jake Browning, eight for 15, 131 yards and three touchdowns. Yvonne Coleman has a fumble recovery and now a first down. Remember, he's the guy who pounced on it when Portland State spilled the kickoff. Four minutes going up tempo here. Coleman stays in. Browning says, let's go now. Got it knocked away from behind and intercepted.
Bartlett comes up with it. Ken Bartlett is going to catch this ball out of the air. Well, that's an incredible play. You know, and that one's going to be on Darrell Daniels, the tight end. Got to hold up on the outside. You see at the top of your screen, he can't hold up. Brown has got a touchdown. He's going to John Ross. That's Devon Dade behind. Yeah, got him. And how about the awareness? First big play of the game for this defense of Portland State. Portland State finally getting a little traction here. Caress him, trying to straight arm at the 30. Can't run away from Qualls. Caressa, good protection. He's had time to throw today. Got his tight end downfield. Spethia makes his second catch of the game. Caressa down the middle again. He's Spethia. To the 22, ball knocked loose. Ferreria scooped it up, nobody else around. Second fumble recovery of the year by Keyshawn Ferreria. Had one against Rutgers. This is all Ezekiel Turner. You'll see it right down here. He's going to get beat. After he gets beat by the tight end, Maximo Espithia. Watch him get back up. You see him just keep chasing, chasing, boom, pops the ball out. That's incredible job of taking heed of the coach. And yep, you got beat, but this young man kept fighting, kept battling, retraces, causes the fumble, recovered by Bieria. That is this defense. It's a relentless approach. Okay, something bad happens. Move on, make it up the next play, forget about it. This guy actually made up for it on the same exact play and caused a turnover. Portland State trying to get on the board late in the half. And a big gainer turns into a turnover. <laughs> Goldman again. You know, a nice half by UW, but there's some stuff that they need to clean up. You know, the previous drive, when they're trying to create their tempo, this is an area they got to work on still. Their offensive line. Still got a couple things they're going to figure out. I'm sure that Chris Peterson is going to address those at half. Portland State gets the ball first to start the third quarter from the 25. Nate Tago, the first touch here in the third. Portland State has to show some discipline. They have to show some patience, but they have to show that they can score. They're about to get run out of here, and this is a team that's, that's coming off one of the worst losses in school history, 66-35 at San Jose State last week, most points allowed in six years. And Bruce told us earlier this week, it was all in the turnovers. They committed six turnovers and didn't create any. Not take anything away from San Jose State, but they were never in that ball game. Caressa, at times, has had good protection. Got a man wide open in the flat. That's a first down. Portland State did have six first downs in the first half. Keep it on the ground. Zach Floyd. Washington had time to adjust here. Run a little cross up front, but they protect Caressa. Rolls to his right, throws back. Got a man right near the first down marker. Stood up and driven back. Is that Gaines again? Big Greg Gaines playing angry. Greg Gaines, Sidney Jones, this defense they like to attack. You know, they call themselves death row for a reason. They can just shut people down. You get the corner blitz from the boundary. Gaines gets it from up the middle. That type of penetration is going to thwart any offense. Another young talent, sophomore from La Habra High School, the Highlanders down in Southern California. Just getting rolling here in the third. Jake Browning has thrown three touchdown passes for Washington. Miles Gaskin scored on the ground. Now Bruce Barnum and the Vikings trying to answer back at all. Caressa 
as a flag comes in. Maybe they're going to call him down. I don't know he might have got a taste of the face mask there, but are you Elijah talking? Elijah Qualls, yeah. He said he's get his mask. The pass was legal. Number 29 was in the area. Personal foul, hands to the face. Defense number five. The 15-yard penalty results in an automatic first down. All right, so Joe Mathis gets called for the hands in the face. It's a first down at the 33. <laughs> Press has time, keeps his chin up, tucks it and slides inside the 30. Caressa stays right tucked in that pocket and just missed his receiver wide. Espithia. It's a 37. Ball's on the rug. Did he get back? Nate Tago dropped it, stepped over it, had to come back for it. And it looked like Cam Summer is the guy who comes up with it. A tight end for Portland State. Look at this defense. There's, oh, you think it's man, then it's going to look like he's going to bring pressure, and all of a sudden the safety's going to drop. All these guys are moving around so much that it forces Alex Cressa to not really understand what's going on with the defensive coverage. They'll go on fourth. Why not? Down 28 nothing. Portland State's not going to play on national TV too many times this year. Caressa goes to his first guy, first down. Back to the ground, Tongo. Pretty good drive, almost 60 yards, six minutes. Caressa under pressure again. Throws into the end zone. Pressure in the backfield, coverage downfield, interception. Sidney Jones with the pick. Well, all layers of the defense have to work correctly to have success. That's Azeem Victor, the linebacker. Watch the pressure on Portland State's Alex Caressa. Force him to get rid of the ball early. Then, of course, Sidney Jones on the back end. Keep in mind, in high school, he's a wide out. He's a running back. He was a DB, return kicks. Dynamic athlete, makes it look easy right there with the pick. Azeem Victor, a leading tackler for Washington this year. John Ross finally gets loose in the open field. Flag back at the 20. Holding. Offense number 60. 10 yard penalty. Replay first down. First and 20 to start the drive. Clatcher gets hit immediately. They're down at 16. They need to get to the 30. Pressure coming, Browning goes over the middle to Ross. Flag again, Ross turns the corner, he's out at the 25, so it's short of the first down. And you would think that this penalty would be against Washington. Pass interference, oh. offense number 22. Half the distance to the goal, replay third down. Coleman with a push off. Josh Kraft is back, pressure coming. Almost got to it. Midfield for Portland State. Zach Floyd. That kid's got a creative mind. Caressa going deep. Deepest throw all day long. <laughs> Incomplete. No pick. Ezekiel Turner, he's all over the field. They like this young man's game. JC transfer out of Pierce College. Does he get it? Show me where it hits the ground, right? Wow. It's still in oh, the air. Oh, look at that. Still in the air. That's a 12 oh. best. Come on now. So Jordan Miller is 23. He's got to deflex it. The previous play is under review. And then Ezekiel Turner. It's a matter of whether he keeps that right hand under the ball. Watch his right hand. Right here, tough to see. Oh, no doubt. I, I'm going pick all the way. That's a 12 best nominee. Absolutely. That's one of the best plays we've seen all season long. And this secondary, they just keep coming. There's a standard in that room. He flies 
the other side of the field, making sure he covers his half. How about Jordan Miller who made the play? I mean, great coverage by Miller. And Miller doesn't mind if you go deep on him. He was a track star in high school, San Diego section, 100 meter champion, triple jump, right hand. I think he goes out of frame here, so you can't see it, but you know it's off the ground. Chris Cisse just trying to play defensive back, knock the ball down, does a great job at wide out, but it's the hustle of Turner that allows this thing to become a play. Now keep in mind, it was ruled incomplete, so it's gotta be conclusive evidence. And, and the problem is he's just out of frame. And they're seeing the same replays that yeah. we're seeing. There isn't a hidden camera that the replay officials get to look at. It's gonna be interesting here. Chris Coit. After review, the ruling on the field stands as called. Third down. And of course they're gonna boo it here, and I understand that, but I also understand Chris Coit, you know, and the, the guys upstairs are saying, you can't see it, that's the rule, you, there's no evidence to overturn it. Crowd demanding defense, pressure coming off the edge. Caressa, they needed to get to the 40, it's caught, it depends where they mark the knee, just short. It should be fourth down and about a half a yard. Fourth down and a half a yard for Portland State at the Washington 40. First down. Named Tongo. And a good job by the five up front to blow it open. Second seven, Caressa has space if he keeps it. He's gonna to get to the stick for a first down and out of bounds untouched. Nothing up the middle. Second and 10 for Alex Caressa. Turns and throws, got a guy on the post inside the five. This is the third time Portland State has put together a good drive. The other two ended on turnovers. Floyd got jammed. It's going to be a loss. Back near the seven yard line, and there he is again. Greg Gaines is so big, you can see him from space. <laughs> he had a huge game against Utah last year, 10 tackles. Cool. It goes again. <laughs> Give him another one. Look at how quick he is. I mean, he just shot that gap, got into the feet of the ball carrier, and spilled it. Well, look, I mean, we just talked about Cam Kaiser, the captain starting center, not being there. Well, this is a hard guy to block, and they try to do a decent job. Tyshawn Mosley's there, the left guard. Gaines, Gaines just tosses him to the side and makes didn't, the play. He didn't so much as tackle the ball carry, he just kind of pushed him. Pushed him down with one hand. Ten plays, 41 yards on the drive, but it's third and goal. I'd go up top. Timeout. Portland State from the bench called that timeout. Didn't like it. Got five guys on third and goal, and remember, Caress can tuck it and go. Protection holds, throws to the corner. And just a little too tall. And Portland State's gonna try to get on the board. Jonathan Gonzalez, his first field goal attempt of the year. He banks it right through. Johnny Ross, they moved him up so he could get a kickoff, and Ross <laughs> continues to battle, got maybe to the 35, 36 yard line. Play action. Browning looking for space, now he's gonna have to keep it. Steps out at 43. Clatcher. Just kept stringing him out to the sideline. Nowhere to go. He's got wheels. Got a mascot down. Is he all right? Is Harry okay? Thanks for the help. Start at the 47 here. That's a nice pickup by Gaskin on first down. It's past the stick, give him 11 on the carry. 
Personal foul. Illegal block below the waist. Offense number 52. 15 yard penalty. Replay first down. Browning looking over the middle all day. Fuller. Puts a guy in motion. And the delayed handoff. Gaskin. Twice. And space inside the 10. This one's not coming back. This is exactly where Miles Gaskin's game has improved. His patience in the run game. A year ago, right here, he's going full speed. Watch him slow down a hair. Oh, that set my block up by Daniels. Now I can cut inside and get an explosive play. I want Gaskin to get it. Fighting his way down near the three yard line. Browning looking to his right. Gaskin, touchdown. They seemed determined to get it to number nine for six, didn't they? That one's pretty easy. It's man to man coverage. See Miles Gaskin. Man to man coverage against Sam Bodine, the linebacker 36. It's an easy read, it's an easy throw. Second down and eight here. It's Portland State still trying to get on the board. He might have stayed on his feet. Mitchell Thompson spun out of the first tackle, and they'll count that. Still going to bring up a third down and a healthy three or four. Caressa's run out of bounds to bring up a fourth down. Can sell it a kick, and Aaron Fuller is back for Washington. Did he signal fair catch? Yeah, he did. He kind of gave it a half wave. And the official's right there and said, look, you put your arm up. <laughs> so changing things up now for Washington. KJ Carter Samuels is in there at quarterback. That Coleman? Coleman's been busy today. Covered a fumble on a kickoff early. We've seen him out of the backfield, a couple of different places. There's KJ Carter Samuels from North Bend, Washington, a sophomore. He's been in a couple of times this year already. The one game that Browning didn't start last year, Carter Samuels started, it was against Stanford Coleman. Jake Browning, 12 of 19, 163, four touchdowns, but he doesn't look pleased. He's, he's an impressive young man. He's such a competitor. And, you know, we, we say this all the time, right? The team takes on the personality of the head coach. He is exactly like Chris Peterson, the way he talks, the way he interviews, the way he competes, the way he prepares. I mean, he's an absolute film junkie. He's the guy who's in that facility 24-7, especially now. Remember, they're not in school until the 28th of September. Carter Samuels waiting, going to his third receiver, just short of a first down. Browning, they called him the, the Folsom Flash in high school, and he was tremendous at the prep level. A two-time California Gatorade Player of the Year. He, he threw 91 touchdowns <laughs> as a senior. Most guys don't throw that many in a career. And then talking about his career, I mean, ridiculous numbers, 229 touchdowns. And did it in three years. Yeah, I'll tell you what. That's a, that's a national record. He, he was one of the most ridiculous high school players in the history of high school football, especially with the advent of the throw game in the offense. Oh, we got the ball on the ball turf. Ball got loose. They're going to hold on to it. Fuller coughed it up. Carter Samuels to the corner, Fuller! It seemed like he couldn't get his right hand away.
Carter Samuels back to Fuller. And it's a catch. And that's a first down. There is a flag, forget it. Replay fourth down. It was in the backfield and kind of came in late. Right up against their own goal line. Down 35-3, just under six minutes to play. Washington looking for its third straight win. I'll tell you, one of the best teachers, I think, in the last 30 years of college football is Chris Peterson. You know, not only how he teaches his players the fundamentals around the game, but how he teaches them off the field. You saw it on the drive last night, which premiered on the Pac-12 Networks, his Built for Life philosophy and when you talk to the assistants as we got to in pregame they talk about who he coaches them he coaches the coaches who coach the kids not a lot of head coaches do, do that they don't sit in position meetings and continually critique coach engage improve the assistants and that is why he's built such an incredible program obviously at Boise State and here I think it's got incredible length when you're talking about this program winning and winning and winning and winning. Are they going to be national champions? Who knows? But this is a team that is built for success, and the student athletes are continuing to reap those benefits when they learn Chris Stuff. Peterson. Chris Peterson has led a team to a bowl game in 10 consecutive seasons, and he was the fifth fastest ever to 100 wins. He did it in 117 games to win 100 times, and he's tied for fifth. You know who he's tied with? Newt Rockney. <laughs> and he's on your names in the same sentence as Rockney. It's big time, and that's a touchdown for Greg. Well, let's check it. That's Will Disley. Yeah, How about Will that? Disley. Former D lineman on the naked boot from KJ Carter Samuels gets him out the back door. This is a guy who moved from defensive line to tight end in the spring. And Disley wasn't going to be denied. The kid from Bozeman. Watch him make the move. Oh, that's Boletic, isn't it? Steps through two tackles, stays in bounds, and gets inside the cone. And KJ Carter, Carter Samuels gets a, a touchdown pass to boot. PAT goes wide. And for Van Winkle, first one they've missed this year. 41 to 3. Caressa flushed again. He's been on the run a lot tonight, but he's been effective. I don't think Peterson wants to move up yet because he's still got their attention right now. You know, he was, he was making a joke earlier when they before the season started, they moved up in the power rankings and they hadn't even played a game yet. <laughs> and, and he was making jokes about that. I love the comment. You know, when we were talking to Peterson, I'm, I'm taking notes like you, three, four pages. And one that I circled and I, I wanted to get on the air. You need to earn your confidence. I'd never heard that before, but it really makes a lot of sense, and it's, it's, it's what he talks about. The T-Rexes were impressed. Portland State still put up 182 yards of total offense, so something to build on for them. 
Well, it's finally on. It's conference play across the board in the Pac-12. We'll see what UW's all about. Top 10 team in the country. I think they have it. Some little things they got to clean up, but overall, a solid performance from Jake Browning, John Ross, and company. Final score, Washington 41-3 over Portland State.